Greetings folks, it's the 12th of December 2025 and I decided to take, I decided to remove the side to see what was underneath. And also I've removed the, disconnected the motor for the time being so you can see how quiet it is and how efficient it is. Now you'll hear how noisy it is with the motor connected. This will have to go back on at some stage, but before it does, we can use this to see how many RPMs we're getting. I'll put this bit of tape on, and what I want to see is from one full revolution of the belt, we'll show you what that is. There. We're going to see how many full RPMs of this wheel we get, so I'm going to repeat that process. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight full rotations for each one full rotation of the belt. Right, so if I'm going to make a cut out here because when it's going really fast, it's impossible to tell how fast it's going, and this will be a good way. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that process one full turn of the belt. We'll see how many rotations we get out of the motor. Okay, so now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go, 18. Now we know that, that will make working out the speed quite a bit easier. Just going to measure the AC voltage coming out straight from the motor. Let's see what it says. I'm going to pedal as fast as I can. And we'll see how much it goes up to. Now we'll change from green and blue to blue and yellow. Okay, so first we tested the green and the blue. Now we're going to do the blue and the yellow. Then we'll do the yellow and the green. Okay, that one seemed a little bit lower. Let's try the green and the yellow. Right, we're good to go. This is the green and the yellow.
Okay, well, they're all pretty similar, so I suppose that's what matters. Right, I was having problems with this meter, so I've taken it out of its casing and got it hardwired so the display stays on. Someone who's good at cycling could easily power 50 volts. That's what that was, I'll go as fast as I can for a short time. That's 51. Fifty-two. Fifty-five. Right, okay, calm my two hours down. Okay, good news, we're getting somewhere. Uh, I've done all the wiring properly. You'll see I've got the weight on the end for this experiment, and just remember that the motor previously was down here and by having moved it up here I think I've improved it a lot. It feels a lot steadier. I need to try and get a smooth tyre if anyone knows where you can buy them. But yeah, with regards to the shell casing I decided to cut that in half. I was getting loads of squeaking which I couldn't be bothered with so that's gone. The rectifier's here and I've actually got it plugged into the lithium ion battery. That's actually a hoverboard battery and you can see the meter saying 39.13 volts. I've worked out to get 40 volts out of the motor you've got to be going about 600 RPM. And as I'm using the belt to calculate that's one full belt every one and a half seconds approximately. So we've got the battery plugged in to the meter. We've got a 12 volt lithium ion providing power to the display so it doesn't go off because it's very temperamental. This is reading this meter which you'll see a close up of with the other camera will be recording the correct power and the power will be going into this battery and it says the charging voltage for the battery is 42 volts at 2 amps that's about 84 watts so we'll try and get up to 84 watts or thereabout on this thing start You can see the battery will be going down. I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes and then have one more go. Oh, my camera battery is going to run out, so I'm just going to give it a quick one more go and then I'll see you in the next video. I was having a lot of problems with the rectifier here, but I've sorted out proper cables with lugs on. Yes, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, folks. Cheers.